Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video, I just want to quickly talk about the red screen on my black iPhone I got last time, as you can see. Sorry for the mess around here. Um, I've been working a lot for the last like three hours on any kind of phone. So I got here a 5S, but here not a shell. I got a 6S laying around. Then I got this iPhone 5, and finally here I got a new crap phone, iPhone 5C. And of course I got here the iPhone 5. So as you remember the last time, sorry for that smudgy display, um, last time I got a red screen of death when I booted it, and it was terrible. So. Now I figured out how to fix that, so it was pretty simple. So this is due to a, let's grab this play. It's due to a faulty front camera and earpiece speaker set. So when this is faulty, your device can run into issues and then have boot issues with the red screen of that. So as you can see, those this one is semi uh, disassembled. I don't recommend you to do this, guys. So it's at your own risk to take this thing apart. But you will see. I boot it. You can see the Apple logo. And this thing will not boot. This thing, pretty sure, will stuck in the boot loop or at a red screen or anywhere else but at 99% this thing will not boot just like last time so just wait until it may boot or not so yeah As you can see, this thing will take forever to boot and it will actually never boot. So that's the secret about it. And you see, this thing has sh should boot since a long time. So just pop the display in the button to be able to press the home button. It don't work. shoot so turn I gotta try to turn off this boy unplug so now open it up with my plastic tool so it just turned on again so now it turned off now we may get that beautiful beautiful looking red screen so sorry if I'm it was brutal when opening that boy up, but it's pretty complicated because it's bent. This one's completely bent, and yep, there is, as you can see, also a part missing. And also, sorry for the bad light, so just turn this on, maybe it's better. Better? Yeah, but so I got some small lights there. You know these, pretty short. Oh no, so now I popped in. So this was useless because I first need to turn it off. So let's try to turn it off. I know this video will be a mess, but I need to do it because a lot of you guys out there don't know how to fix that stupid red screen so now the device is off now again pop it open now 
now unplug you can see here the cable for the earpiece speaker part as you can see it's not plugged in anymore oops so i unplug just the whole display just plug it in again quickly i don't know if it's from the cable itself because the display was on this boy and never had issues with the red screen so i think it's an issue of the phone itself but yeah so now as you can see i can boot it and this thing will turn on without any issues plug in and just leave it boot So last time I didn't, I was on a trip and I didn't have any tools with me so I don't really know how I got this thing to boot. But yeah, so hopefully it will boot right now correctly. Yeah, it just vibrated. Sorry, my speaker is broken. I gotta replace it. I go and do this later on. As you can see, the phone just booted like it should. So, as you can see, I'm in here. Just go in the settings. You can see it's exactly the same phone as last time. Ten point two. Just quickly access activate accessibility the assistive search as home button um, replacement I noticed from my 5s there's the home button broken so as you can see this thing is perfectly working right now so I got to replace the top portion so that this phone will work again so thank you guys for watching as always stay tuned for more videos please subscribe i'm at 94 subscribers i'm so close to 100 it would make me so happy to have 100 subscribers yep so subscribe comment and i hope this video especially this video will help you because i didn't see anything like that so yep just as I mentioned, please subscribe, it will make me so happy. Peace out, guys.